So I was perusing YouTube and I saw Moist Critical's video on feedback and reflecting on past actions and bettering yourself as a content creator. And I agree with him. As a creator, you have to be open to feedback and criticism. And there's a difference between that and hate. Like, a lot of people turn themselves off to criticism in general because, oh, they told me my content sucks and stuff. Yes, that, that's just people who are hitting and not giving constructive criticism at all. But if they're like, yo, bro, I like your content, but I think a little bit of it is weak in this area. Here are my suggestions on how to improve that area. And you can read that and you can reflect and you can either decide, yeah, I agree with that criticism or we just have a different in opinions. And that's perfectly fine. So I'm making this video to ask you guys for feedback. Honestly asking for feedback. Now, if you're just gonna blindly hate, like saying, oh, your videos are trash because it's not edited or there's no scripting or it's not gameplay, you're gonna be ignored, okay? I want people who will go and say, hey, I'd love to see this kind of content for, from you, or I'd like to see you switch up your style ever so slightly, maybe more live streams, or maybe you can make your videos longer or shorter. I want to see more shorts from you, or get a better mic. I don't know. Stuff that uh, fix your audio, whatever. Stuff like that. Uh, switch the playlist you listen to when you uh, record, all that. For example, uh, if you've seen my live streams and have been around a long time, you know that I have a lot of VTuber models. And I wanted to ask your opinion on that. Would you like it if I switched it up in videos every once in a while and instead of the one you're seeing now, it's something else just randomly? Like just poof, video starts and it's a different model. Would that keep you would that be something you'd be interested in? Because it'd be something I'd find a little fun. And that's the thing when it comes to becoming a creator. You have to find a middle ground between yourself and your fan base. If you cater too much to your fan base, you're sacrificing your own fun and enjoyment for them. And then they'll, that'll, they'll feed off that. They'll realize you're not having fun and that'll affect them. But on the other hand, if you're just doing purely what you want to do, sure, you'll attract people who enjoy you having fun, but you'll also alienate a lot of people. So the perfect middle ground is to do what you love and what your audience loves. So that's why it's good to be have good communication with your fan base, be it through community notes and whatever. And I, what I've learned in the past, oh God, half year I've been doing this YouTube thing. Oh my God, I've been at it for a long, long time. Um, what I've learned is that being open about communication is very important. Don't act so high and mighty like, I don't have time for these scrubs. No, read the comments, interact with them if you feel them worth interacting with. And try to reach out, make, make yourself seem tangible. Be there, and then they'll feed off that energy and it'll be a good situation for everyone. Um, and I realize that as I've been doing this content creation, what works best for me is definitely a podcast slash just rambling type of video where I talk about whatever I want, whatever's on my mind. There's no central topic. Um, because when I have a central topic, I struggle for ideas. Like my person, the YouTuber community, I ran out of ideas real quick. I was just floundering. And that's why that didn't, video didn't do too well. And I know it wouldn't do it too well because it just wasn't engaging. It wasn't about anything in particular. It's just like, oh, this is why it's good. And blah. But in a video like this, I can be like, yo, did you know my favorite anime is Gintama or... Did you know I spend a lot of time on Manga Buddy reading way too much manga because I have uh, no life um, and stuff like that. So if you have feedback, things you want to do, things you want to see, places you want to go, let me know. And uh, before I end this video, if you want to see like more models like, I don't freaking know, uh, uh, let's just choose a random one because I have so many, right? Yeah. Um, if you want to see more models like, I don't know, this one. If you want to see more models like this model right here, uh, even though it's female, guess what? There's nothing wrong with a guy using a female model. If he wants to use a female model, he can use a female model. There's nothing wrong with a girl using a male model. Let's get that across. You can use whatever the fuck model you want to use. So if you want to see more models like this or whatever kind of model, let me know. And, uh... I'll definitely randomize it a bit because I like it. And if you like it, then it'll be more of a big party for us all. Right. So uh, let's uh, let's enjoy that, shall we? All right. See you guys next time. Bye bye.